I am feeling numb and I don't want to seem overly dramatic, but I feel like my world is crumbling. I, this feels like a death to me. Dude, am I fucking hearing this right? This 40-year-old man is comparing his TikTok getting banned to experiencing the death of an actual human being. His world is crumbling. By far one of the most pathetic things I've ever watched on YouTube. Holy fucking shit. What a way to start off a video. So this right here is Perez Hilton. And if you haven't heard of him, well, he's a 40-something year old man who's seen a little bit of mainstream success in his life. You know, I'll give him that. Right now, he's currently a washed up actor turned celebrity gossip blogger who thinks he's this massive name in entertainment. I, I think one of the most notable things to happen to the guy is when Miley Cyrus, of all people, threatened to kick his ass on Twitter. And uh, I'm not a Miley Cyrus fan by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I can completely understand where she's coming from. This dude flat out accused her of cheating on her fiance, so. Uh, that's some spicy drama, if I do say so myself. Well, just yesterday he uploaded a video crying in tears over being banned from TikTok. You know, the app where children record themselves doing duets with complete strangers. <laughs> that fucking app. And I get it, you know, it can hurt to lose this massive chunk of your income. But it still doesn't make the situation any less pathetic. And, uh, it, I find it incredibly fucking laughable. Hey everybody, it is Perez, and, um, some of you may have heard that I have been permanently banned from TikTok. I want to give you guys some updates on that and share some more information. First, the reason that TikTok gave me for permanently banning my account without any warning is multiple community guidelines violations. If you guys don't know how TikTok works, it's run by bots, artificial intelligence. And I get my videos reported, targeted attacks against me by people who don't like me all the time and I appeal them, and then they get restored, almost always. Not always, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but today, I created a backup TikTok account. And TikTok just deleted my backup account. Now, I'm sure there's a tiny speck of honesty in that sentiment. I know YouTube operates the same exact way, where videos can get taken down for the dumbest of reasons. I mean, I could flash my ankle up on screen and some bot would flag me for lewd content. So I, I can assume TikTok has a pretty similar problem. When millions of hours of content are being uploaded every day, it's impossible for humans to watch everything that pops up on their radar. So I, you know, I can understand this automated system as bullshit as it is. But if he's making a backup account and getting banned, that doesn't sound like a bot problem. That sounds like TikTok knows who you are and doesn't want your face on their platform. Whether that's for a valid reason or not, I don't really know. But uh, it's hard for me to feel any pity for this guy. In a Hail Mary pass, hoping for a Christmas miracle, I have reached out to Charlie D'Amelio and her family. I messaged them on Instagram, begging them for help. If anybody could help me right now, it is Charlie D'Amelio's family. And with all of the humility in the world, I grovel to them and I pray that they could find kindness in their heart to please help me. I don't even know if they've seen, they may not even check their message from me. Charlie is the most followed person on TikTok. 
This right here really illustrates the insanity of this situation. This grown man is begging some 16 year old, a literal child, okay? He's begging a literal child who's apparently the cream of the crop on TikTok, the best of the best, groveling, as he says, to a child that most likely doesn't even follow him, let alone care for his content. And how do you expect this? This girl, how, how do you expect this 16 year old to have this massive pull with a corporation like TikTok? They can do whatever the fuck they want. No, no 16 year old is gonna tell them who they can and can't have on their platform, all right? Let's be fucking real here. So I messaged my contact at TikTok and 60 seconds later, clearly he was messaging me right as he told the platform to ban me, I got an email from him saying that I was being banned for multiple community guidelines violations, including harassment and bu bullying and nudity. You gross. You actually post nudity on TikTok? Get the fuck out of here. What the hell? <laughs> I don't post nudity on TikTok. Oh, thank God. I do not need that image in my head. I hope it fucking stays that way. Don't post nudity anywhere. Not on TikTok. Not on YouTube. Don't even start up an OnlyFans. No one needs to fucking see that. The only thing I can think of is when people have made videos about me with my book, holding my book, I've duetted them. And my book cover features a side view of me that shows some glute. All right, you know what? I fully support TikTok's decision to ban this guy. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> He's posting on a platform specifically targeted towards minors. His fucking glute. All right, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. You made the right call here. Peace out. That's all from Demonic Abyss. But I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try. I'll never lose, I'll never die You've seen me before, you'll see me again